I'll give you an example. Once there was a woman whose husband was tired of hearing her anger being railed against others constantly. So he said to her, he had met me and had a profound meditation experience. And he told the wife, I'm going to divorce you, but I will give you a chance to at least be able to see your children if you go and see Peace Mother. Because other than that, I have a really strong case against you because of your violent ways that have left me drained after years and years of living with you. She was a lovely woman, but she had an anger demon attacks. But she came because he pushed her to come and see me. And she came to see me, and we started with the sessions. And in each session, I give teachings to the person on how these dark forces manipulate them, on how they work, on the strategy that they utilize to create violence within the person, or depression, or hyperactivity, whatever it is that they create. It's all the urgings of the dark forces. So she was listening and she was applying the teachings and I could see that we were in each session with the Mayan prayers, we were reducing this anger demon, this violent demon. And about after the third one, she said she wanted to see her children. And I warned her that I felt it was too soon because I knew those dark forces would try to stir something up and then create a fall from grace and create that the children would then be taken from her permanently. So I, I gave her my advice, but she really wanted to see her children. So I said to her, very well then, I shall pray for you all weekend long that everything flows smoothly. And I shall call forth the angels and all your protectors that they guide you and that you listen to them only. During the visit, the mother and one of the daughters got into a heated argument, as often happened. But this time, because of the training that she had received, she was able to hear the voices in her mind. So she heard the anger demon say, hit her. And she heard her angelic guidance say to her, don't do it. Because the dark forces are pushy, bossy forces that will always try to break you down and get you to do what they want you to do, she heard the voice again say, go ahead, hit her. Again, her divine guidance said to her, don't do it. You are above this. Rise above. But those ever clever, manipulative dark forces now put a new spin on it and said to her, she deserves it. Hit her. But through grace, she also heard her angelic guidance say to her, leave this room now. Don't do something you will later regret. Leave this room now. Go to your room and lock the door and don't come out until you're calm. And she did that through grace. She was able to hear the light forces. And she did calm down and she spent an hour in her room praying, and meditating, and calling forth grace. And when she came out of her room, she was able to have a calm conversation with her daughter and tell her, we must find a new way to communicate so we don't have to go the, down the path of the old way that made everyone unhappy. Grace, grace, grace. Grace is available, but how does it work that we cannot feel that grace, that we cannot see the grace, that we cannot hear that grace? It is because of veils. There are energies covering the individual. And layer after layer have covered. Now those layers have voices, dark voices. And they encourage the person to block out the voice of the light, to block out the urgings and the guidance of the light, and instead listen only to the darkness, to the self-destructive urgings. And so we have people who have these soul disturbances going on. And what does society do? They put them on medication. Now through the medication, there are huge holes that are established in the aura. Huge holes occur in the aura. 
here is this sensitive being. And we know they're sensitive because that's how they wound up with this syndrome. So here is the sensitive being. They're experiencing possession, these dark forces coming through them, moving through them, acting through them. And now instead of going for soul retrieval, instead of coming for a Mayan soul retrieval session, since they don't know it exists, or perhaps they don't have faith, they've not been trained to have faith in it, they go the traditional route of medication which is harsh drugs which splinter the personality further, which fragment the consciousness, the soul. Now the soul is further fragmented. Easily, easily dark forces come in and settle in in other type of syndromes, coping mechanisms, behavior patterns. And it's a downward spiral from there. Very difficult to get free, certainly difficult to reach enlightenment. So if you or anyone you know has some kind of bipolar syndrome or this syndrome, that syndrome, refer them to Mayan soul retrieval because the only true solution is to remove those veils, to remove the karmic layers of ignorance. You can imagine trying to look through veils as you might see a glimpse of light here and there, but very difficult to have clear vision. These layers, these dark forces that have layered programming into the person must be removed. And it's not a simple thing. It requires a pure heart. It requires an impeccable war of light to do it effectively.